what do you want to do was the question. <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly, truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things or perhaps you're like me dwelling and you can appreciate and love all things fancy and fabulous, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Go ahead and tap the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video on this channel. Without further ado, we're jumping right in. It might be a lengthy video. I'm gonna say grab a snack. I only wanted to tell you about 10 fragrances from 2021 that I received the most compliments. Now, let's talk about compliments and where I was even going to receive a compliment in 2021. It was a very different year, a very peculiar year. So I stayed in a lot, but when I did go out, best believe she smelled fabulous darling. And I wanted to get compliments that were not only given from my guy because that's truly the only person who really gets that close to me that would even be able to smell me through the mask. So these 10, and an honorable mention, that I will be sharing with you today were all smelled through the mask. And they got me a compliment. All right, without further ado, I'm going in no particular order. I am just going to pick them up and tell you briefly about them and we're gonna keep it moving. Now, I will say this, a disclaimer. For those of you that watch the channel a lot, I appreciate you. I rock with you. Thanks for the love. I love you much. Thank you so much. It's gonna be some redundancy because you guys, you know how I am. I'm only gonna tell you and give to you what the fragrance is really telling and giving to me. Okay, with that being said, let's go. So coming in no particular order, as I stated, I'm gonna start with this one here. This is Lee Labo. If you follow me on Instagram and if you're not, how are we even friends, okay? This is Lee Labo, you guys. We were going out to dinner, or no, we were going to brunch and a girl that was working at the front desk, I had walked over to tell her our name for our residence reservations we were going to brunch and as I leaned in to tell her my name she said oh my gosh what are you wearing you smell so good and I said it is Centau 33 by Le Labo and she's like I love that fragrance it smells so good on you and this is this is long lasting on me it is a beast it gets in my body it holds it tight it never lets it go I spray it in my hair and they have so many other fragrances that I cannot wait to get my hands on but this one right here every single time I wear it it gets me a compliment it's a fragrance that really makes me happy because I did visit Miami this year and hotel one we stayed there and that hotel smells very very similar to this fragrance so it just all the way around Around, has great memories and every time I wear this I get a compliment I move on another one it was summer I was out like I said we were in Miami uh, this is one that I took in a travel size with me this is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga the bottle is beautiful there's a whole story that goes with this many of you know it if you do share it in the comment section below a woman was merely wearing this at brunch I stopped her I asked her what she was wearing I got it and I received the same type of compliments it is really good tons of beautiful notes in here I'm not gonna get into the notes of all the fragrances we'll be here all day you guys anyways I'm just telling you the ones that I received the most compliments on Every time I wear this, my guy gives me a compliment. And if we get in close proximity to someone, and normally during 2021, it was a person taking my order or the person valet in the car or when I got out of the car and got back in the car, it's like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? What fragrance is that? And of course it was Balenciaga by Flora Botanica. Um, am I saying that right? I hope so. Um, it has mint, carnation, rose. It's a beautiful scent. Vitiver, it's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. You already, oh my gosh, it's perfect for year round. You already know what I say. Spray what you want, when you want, and spray as much of it as you want. I move on. Oh God, I picked this one up during, I wanna say spring heading into summer or either late, late summer. I can't recall. One of the two, I picked it up. This is C, Passion Intense. We went out to dinner one night. I think I vlogged it when we went out to dinner. You guys, I smelled so good. I was smelling myself. Are you, am I even holding it in the right place? I smelled so good. I was feeling myself, smelling myself. I smelled like an amazing, sexy, fruity, bombshell snack if you allow me to put all that into one this is a beautiful fragrance the waiter or the waiter the waitress or was it a waiter no it was a guy and he looked and he was like 
what do you wear <laughs> who is that something smells really good over here hello it is me that is the one day that my fragrance was out per in my guy's fragrance because he sprays like nobody's business but this time it was me and this is C passion intense I know they have another one um, I heard spicy looks talking about it here on YouTube Nisha and I have to get my hands on that one I want to smell that one as well if it smells anything like this sold I have to have it it's a beautiful fragrance if you're looking for something that's sexy perfect for date night actually anytime anywhere any place I just compartmentalize it in my date night category this would be a great way to go this is Giorgio Armani it's a 2020 release black current jasmine cedar patchouli vanilla you guys okay I have tons of videos on my channel about it and it is oh god I should put a little bit of that on it's so good it's it's the beginning it's the black current it's kind of syrupy it's kind of fruity it's a soft spicy it's a floral but it's not overly sweet and that's what I like about it and it still has a little bit of spicy with a whole lot of sexy I move on now this one here I got this compliment from my dad <laughs> So I don't know what that's saying, but I did receive this compliment from my dad when I was wearing this. They came up one time, they were visiting, and he was like, when you went in for the hug, he's like, oh, you smell good, what are you wearing? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Twilly Deer Best. That is this one here, you guys. Beautiful fragrance here. This has the ginger note in it. It has citrus, tuberose, sandalwood. It's a beautiful fragrance. Like I said, this is a warm, spicy. Some will say it's a summer fragrance. You already know what I say. I absolutely love it. I love the bottle. I did too pick up this year the other one that's a little bit more floral um perfect for spring i'll be talking about it coming up soon here for the spring because i don't know what happened in winter we didn't get it okay today was like 80 monday i had on the heater tuesday i was freezing thursday friday it was like oh my gosh it's like 80 degrees outside 70 so i don't know maybe we're missing winter so i'll be going right into spring but anyways you guys you cannot go wrong if you need a signature scent this is a compliment getter this is a wow factor it's classy it's elegant it's dressy it's a warm spicy that is twilly de hermes i move on and that compliment came from my dad i was like do i smell Ugh, i don't know if i I don't know if that was the kind of compliment I wanted, but he said I smell good. So I was like, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Another one this year that I rocked during the summer, oh my God, that dent is real, is this one here. And this is by Chanel. This is one that I was telling you guys about a couple of videos back. Chanel Le number five. This is a beautiful one. Lemon, citrus, mandarin, ylang ylang. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's very, very powdery. Allow me to say that. It's very, very powdery, but it's beautiful. I find it to be one of their more modern fragrances. Um, I think this would be an easy reach to miss on it is absolutely beautiful you can miss a little bit or you can miss a lot it's a little bit like their new one that came out the fragrance mist it has a beautiful atomizer um, on it as well and that's how this one is oh that citrus lemon note in the beginning is very prominent and it's beautiful this is great for like I said some would categorize it in summer and I think it's beautiful for summer and spring it's something you would put on with a nice dress some linen you didn't want to do too much you didn't want to be too hot or stuffy you wanted to smell like you know inviting uplifting bright this would be the way to go and it's classy it's Chanel Dwelly I move on oh my gosh I can't believe I'm talking about this I was not gonna leave it out I pride myself on being real okay and I'm not gonna leave this fragrance out yes this is the fragrance that I had told you about in the last video I talked to you about it all 2021 I know you guys I know okay but I told you I can only give to you what a fragrance gives to me Stranemia! Oh my gosh, Stranemia is absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. It is fruity in the beginning. Yes, it has reminisce to Baccarat Rouge 540 a little bit, but to me, it's a little bit more fruitier. It has a little bit more of a more relaxed vibe. It's not as refined to me, but it doesn't say it's less quality or anything like that. I just find it to be a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun, still sexy at the same time. Like I said, fresh citrus. It has passion fruit in the beginning. You guys, it has a lot of stuff. It has lemon, bergamot, raspberry, Oh my god, just taking the cap off. This right here is a famous fragrance that I went to get my hair done. My hairdresser was like, oh my god, is that what they call them? A hairdresser? A hair, a hair salon? What do they call them? Beautician? I don't know what they call them. Whatever, you guys. We're not here for the hair. Anyways, um, she asked me, girl. Like, what are you wearing? You know this story. If you're new to the channel, yes, I was wearing this, not this unit, but another unit. And she's like, I'm over there trying to wash your hair and I cannot get the scent out. Like, what is the fragrance? And I told her, and she's like, can you bring me a sample? And I did, and the rest is history. So now every time I go in, I'm taking her samples and she's always asking what I'm wearing. But this is the one that opened the door and started it all. This is Stranemia by Quinta Canto. I do have a discount code for this. You can shop this at So Avant and receive 15% off. I move on. The story that came with this. Oh gosh, first 2.5. Let me tell you how I pulled up on it. 
my guy and I, I can't even talk. I got so excited. Oh, that man just drives me crazy. But anyways, um, I love him. Uh, we were in the mall and I was like, I've never even seen this fragrance. I didn't know this was out. Sometimes fragrances do that. They just sneak up on you and you're like, where'd you come from? I didn't see. So it came out, I picked it up and I sprayed it and I smelled it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have this, right? And I was like, oh, but this is more towards a male. You already know what she says. Man, woman, boy, child, human. I was going to rock it because it smelled that good. So I picked it up and I'm like, okay, I'll come back. Came back and got it. I brought it home and I told my guy, babe, this is for you. Knowing all the while that we were both gonna share, but I told him it was for him. That is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. If you have not smelled this, this is so sexy, so beast mode. It projects like nobody's business. It will get on your body. It will last, it will hold it tight. It will never, hear me when I say this, it will never let it go. This is an amazing fragrance. I think there's a, um, new formulation. I don't know. I could be making this up you guys, but I think there's a new formulation or something I heard that came out about it, which I've got to get my nose on. But this one here is just the EDP. It is absolutely amazing. My guy and I were both shopping in Dior and he happened to be wearing it. And the whole day I'm smelling him cause he smells amazing. And then he's got that bald head and I'm just looking and I'm okay. That's how I was feeling. And then I was wearing it. Okay. So we're in Dior and the guy goes back to wrap up whatever we were purchasing. And then he comes back and he's like, who has on Tom Ford ombre leather? And I was like, uh, guilty. He was like guilty. And he was like, Oh my God, that smells so good. He's like, just walking back in. It just hit me with a whiff. And he's like, I wear that all the time. It's one of my favorites. He said, and it smells so good. I'm like, absolutely through the mask. Okay. We're standing there shopping. He's like, Oh my gosh, all of these have been smelled through the mask. That's saying a lot. Okay. Tom Ford, ombre leather. I move on. Tom, I am still waiting, but I know you're busy. I see you got new fragrances coming out and whatnot, but I'm still waiting for that call. It's, it's okay. Just have your people contact my people. It's all good. It's all good. Another one. When I was in Cabo, I visited Cabo this year. Some friends of ours and my guy and I went out like a couple's trip and we were going out one night for dinner and I was wearing all white. You know, I love all white. Hello. She has an all white. I, I do have other colors, but I just love black and white, beige and nude, okay? Yes, I do. Anyways, I rocked Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And this is absolutely amazing. We were um, coming down for dinner. Our car was waiting for us out front. And one of the property directors that was there at the resort had happened to see me. We had chatted earlier. So we had made like a little bit of a friendship and I was going down and she's like, Oh my God, you look so nice. You look so pretty. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, she, as she was walking past, she goes, Oh my God, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And I told her, I'm wearing Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And if you watched that video, you had a chance to experience that because I was vlogging. And as I'm vlogging, she actually said that right on camera. So it's it's always nice when that happens. So this is another one. This is a summer luxurious yacht party. I'm still waiting to get on that yacht, you guys. I mean, I want, I want like a hundred foot, like a big yacht with the deck underneath. I mean, the whole night. I want to go bigger. I don't want to go at all. That's just, that's my preference. That's what I want. But that is what this uh, fragrance gives to me. A nice glazed gondola type of, uh, sheer, uh, didn't you say you weren't going to do all this? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, you guys, uh, Tom Ford, <laughs> Zoe Blanc, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, Jasmine Tubrils. I'm just trying to give you a little bit just in case someone is new and they've never heard of it before. Beautiful spring, summer, uh, type of fragrance, just luxury in a bottle, darling. Ah, oh, it's so good. Okay. I got to move on. I move on. Seems like I'm going back and forth, but these, like I said, I wanted to pull all fragrances that I really received compliments from, from people that I can genuinely share a story with you. This one here is Mimo by Marfa or Marfa by Mimo. I just bought the little one, you guys. That's it. I wanted to really test it out and see how I felt. It was that night that we were in Miami, my guy and I, and I went through the gift shop and they had an amazing array of fragrances there. And this one had happened to be there. Now I had already played with the brand prior. I had, you know how you, oh yeah, I'm thinking about it, but I, I never really went back to it. So we were there and I wanted to try some of their fragrances. So she gave me a sample of this one of Mimo. Marfa. I'm just gonna call it Marfa, okay? Because I can't be bothered. Anyway, so she gave me a sample of Marfa. And I went back up to the room after our massages and everything like that. We got dressed. We were gonna go to Poppy's Steakhouse for dinner. 
And so I had stopped by the gift shop and, you know, thanked her for the sample and I had, you know, I, the sample was done, okay? She gave me two little samples like that. I killed them both. Oversprayed heavy sprayer. Hashtag right now in the comment section if you're a heavy sprayer. Just let me know. Let me know I'm not alone. Okay, so back to the story. So we're heading out to dinner. The Uber driver comes, pulls up. We're getting in the car. My guy gets the door. I get out. He's like, ooh something smells nice. Like, what is that? And I go, oh my God. And I'm always just thinking it's me. I mean, I don't know what my guy was wearing. He could have been talking to him, but she took the compliment. So I'm like, oh, it's um Memo by Martha, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling him all about it. So then as we're having dinner, we're coming back to the room. I'm getting undressed. My guy's like, that does smell good. What is that? And I'm like, that's the one that the lady gave me at the gift shop. And he was like, oh my God, it smells really good. Came back home, long story short, she ordered it. Okay, Saks was having like spend 200, get $50 gift card, whatever. So I picked up this little valve wore it out and then I wasn't able to smell it on myself. So I'm still in debate if I'm gonna get a new one or if I'm just gonna keep this small size. More of the story is I received a few compliments even through the mask wearing Memo Marfa. I move on. This is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love storytelling. I should have got a job in storytelling. Oh, oh, back to Cabo, back to Cabo. Guys, remember I stumbled upon this. Keitra sent it to me in a nice bougie box. Uh. Look at the dent in that. Keitra sent this to me in the nice in a nice bougie box. I'll tell you what happened. She sent me a sample, just a small sample. She sent me all of the Kayali, like all of the samples, um, Elixir, 11, Citrus, 08. I, I had no idea. I wasn't really checking for the brand like that. I had no idea really about Kayali fragrances. Let's just be honest. I've seen them. I've heard of them. I heard people talk about them, but I really didn't really have an interest. I'm the kind of person, I know what I know, and I'm like, eh, eh. You know, I don't really like to do too much. I don't stray too far away. I'm like, I know what I know, uh, what is it? But if something gets my attention, then I'm sold. So she sends me all these samples. We were going to Cabo. I packed a ton of samples to take with me just to have, you know, different fragrances to wear. So we were going out to dinner another night because this is what we do. We love to dine. We love to go to dinner. We love to go out, lounges. It's just a part of our life. So we were going out again. Car comes. As I walk down the hotel lobby, you may heard, have heard this story before because I've shared all these before, but act like you haven't, get excited. So anyways, we are heading down the hotel and I'm walking in front of my guy because I'm walking over to get our friends to tell them, it's time to go, the car's here, right? So I mosey on along in front of him and he was looking perplexed. And I looked like, what in the world? Why are you stop walking? He was like, what are you wearing? What, what fragrance is that tonight? You guys, and I said this before, it wasn't a, oh my gosh, you smell nice. Babe, what are you wearing? No, 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 no. That wasn't the kind, that wasn't the kind of question he asked. That wasn't the way he asked the question. He said, Hey, uh, what are you wearing? Like, what you wanna do? What do you wanna do was the question. <laughs> So needless to say, I came home and I have been trying to get my hands on this for about five or six months. Finally, Sephora was having the sale. I got up wee hour in the night, okay? Put it in the cart or and it was there. First of all, I kept saying sold out. I think the Lord planted it there for me because it was saying sold out, sold out, sold out. I just kept hitting something and then one appeared and it was a big size. I didn't even know what size I got. I just ordered it and it came and I have not looked back since. You can layer this with anything, any fragrance that you're having. Somebody reached out to me and asked me the other day, Sheree, I have Gucci memory. What can I layer that with? Try and layer it with this. You can layer any fragrance with this. I have not been disappointed. This fragrance right here, oh my gosh, I think this is a staple. I think everyone needs this in their collection. I honestly do. I think everybody needs this in their collection, especially if you like vanilla. I told you guys before, it's the brown sugar note for me. It does it. It gets to me, it got to my guy, and it's just good, good. I move on. That is Kayali Vanilla 28. It's always gonna be a for life for my collection now. Sold! And our final one, our final one, oh my God! Our final one is this one here. It is you, Dolly. The woman who caused all the drama. This woman here caused all the drama late 2021. I believe it hit about September. It caused the ruckus. It had the girls talking. It had the guys talking. It had the women chatting. It had the men talking. It had people chatting, okay? Is it good? Is it not? Is it love? Don't be shy. Does it smell like this? It was a lot. You guys, I love it, okay? I love it. I love it. I love it. And I have one of the most 
beautiful memories of 2021 that I can share with you when I wore this fragrance. I wore this fragrance to the Beverly Four Seasons Hotel and I was meeting a friend here that I met on YouTube, Kitra, for the first time. Bougieville, you guys might know her as. And um, I was wearing this and I sprayed it all over myself. Like I doused myself in it. Some said that this doesn't last long. You guys spray it heavy, spray your clothes and you know, make sure you moisturize, layer and hydrate. That helps with longevity on this fragrance. So I did spray it heavy and when I went in we both had our mask on we were both heavy masked up and when I went in to greet her and give her a hug or what have you um, she didn't say anything right then and there but then as we took off walking she's like girl what are you wearing <laughs> I was like <laughs> I wear it Oriana and she was like oh my gosh it smells so good on you she was like I was able to smell it way across the table and I'm like well I did go in on it I told you I spray heavy nonetheless to say she was able to smell it through the mask we sat for our part she was able to smell it the whole day she went home and ordered this fragrance she was like it smells that good I'm ordering this when I get home we did a little video about it make sure you guys check that out it was super fun two bougie girls meet up in California and we were both talking about Oriana and that is where I received my compliment from Oriana for the very first time. I put it on myself and I was like, oh my God, girl, you smell fabulous. But I wanted to share with you others that I have received compliments for. So these are my, did I do 10 or 11? 10 and an honorable mention, 11. You guys, I'm really trying to keep the videos to 10. No more than 11. That's that honorable mention because you know I just can't follow the rules. I just, I just can't dance to the beat of anybody else's drums but my own. But I am trying to keep the fragrances 10 or 11 just so it's not overwhelming and if there's anything that you see here today that you might want to try or buy I do have links in the description box below those links are affiliate links so if you shop my links I do get a small commission it's a way of saying thank you and I truly appreciate that you totally do not have to you totally do not have to but I greatly appreciate if you do and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my video today I truly appreciate you I hope everyone is doing well I hope everyone is being safe my prayers are with all of you and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous dwellings these were my 10 with an honorable mention most complimented fragrances thanks for watching bye